Hey guys, this is Resurrector45, Orion here. And I know I haven't done a video in a while here, but with the new games coming out like Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts and a couple of other games like Destiny and other things like that, I wanted to actually get into a commentary here about the difference between the Battlefield stuff because I have a lot of memories of playing this game and the difference between the games are pretty similar like th there's not that much to go off of when it comes to these games like the graphics indicator yes that is a complete and utter change but when it came to guns and ooh, cool uh, like guns and gameplay and other things like that it was more towards uh, like how am I gonna get this mission done how am I gonna complete like deleting all of the uh, the uh, what is it called the uh, the rush uh, MCOM stations and stuff like that and people have been asking me like what is the difference like can you tell a difference and definitely yes you can tell a difference between the gameplays like pretty much choosing your own setup is dependent on how you play the games like personally I'm a sniper I camp in high up places but my aim is pretty dead on I'm pretty good at taking out snipers from the helicopters so it looks like I joined the game a little late here but I mean it's not too bad so as you can tell I'm an M95 user on here or I forget what it's called it may be the M95 but just say the the Barrett 50 count and with this you get sensor grenades and these are really fun to use because on your map indicator see that little blip on there that's letting you know exactly where enemies are they'll show up red not only on your map but like that little indicator that was right in front of me it's a little red indicator that moves around <laughs> sorry about that but yeah it'll let you know exactly where they are at but uh, See, I got, yeah, M95, 1911, but I'm probably going to use tracer darts. I can use C4 or mortar, but mortars are more effective on longer range maps like this. And you can do 12 times optics, 4 times red dots. Uh, red dot is really fun when you're just trying to make people angry at you. And then you have, like, uh, armor upgrades okay. and stuff. But since I'm using long range, I have magnum ammo, or explosive rounds, or I can also use spot, which it's sending out a signal when enemies are around me, and it will beep just like the, uh, what is it, the uh, radar ball thing that I have, and it'll let you know that they're close. And then over here is all for vehicles, but I really do not like using vehicles okay, that much. But there are so many different weapons on here to choose from. Like, I used to love the NS-2000, which is a shotgun that shoots out slugs. But for my purposes, since I'm a sniper mainly, then I am going to snipe the crap out of these people. Since I waited a little longer, it looks like this MCOM station is going to be destroyed. Oh no, good, good, cool. Alright, so let's get to some high ground here. Oh, I just did like a test run on here on Valparaiso because I wanted to be sure people were still playing this game. Because uh, I completely forgot, once you download something, after you purchase it, you can re-download it for free five times. And then you gotta rebuy it, so I just got the Vietnam expansion pack again and the Onslaught version for this. and. I'm definitely going to do some live comms of that stuff because I do know more people are playing it now and it is so much fun. So, okay. Let's see if I can target anybody here. Oh, oh he already died. Dang it. Okay, okay. Oh, that's my teammate. I'm going to cover you, buddy. Like that. Oh, right above his head. Yeah, like I said, though, I haven't played in forever, so my aim is a bit off. But, I mean, once I get everything going here, I'm going to give them support on there. So even if they get in, it's going to take them down a notch. Okay, yeah, so there's a mortar incoming there. Cool. 
Got one. Spot assist, beautiful. All right, uh, is that ours? Uh, I am colorblind, so please keep that in mind. This one, I never really got to find the uh, <laughs> colorblind controls on here, like for just letting me know, hey, that's not what you think it is. That's actually your teammate, so stop shooting it, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, depending on the people playing this game, all right, I'm going to say that again. It's all dependent on how you play the game yourself. Like I said, sniper. So I love using sniper rifles. I love being sneaky and like deviant and making people hate me because I can shoot them across the map. And then there is assault. There's recon, assault, medic, and then there is support. Support is heavy machine gun. Assault is, uh, no, I think I had that wrong. <laughs> uh, assault is like regular machine guns. Uh, support is heavy LMG. Oh, wow, he was right behind me. Okay, my bad. No, but, uh, recon is pretty much all of this stuff here. All the sniper rifles, but you, in each class, you all get, like, a random gun like random uh, like shotguns and stuff like that then like the M14, G3, M1A1 and then the M1 <clears throat> M1 Garand which is only unlocked once you have the uh... Charge storm, stand by. Uh, let's see if I can do something else here oh it's medic on here it's the same as uh, support okay alright so, yeah, all this here, I'm going to use an M60, because I have good memories of this gun. This gun is beast. Alright, so, there's always a couple of glitch spots on these games, and of course there's this one where you can swim alongside. It is pretty heavily guarded, <clears throat> but once you get all the way down to the edge of the map, it's pretty much uh, you jump up, come up behind them, and just mow them all down. And I used to do that with the M95 with the red dot sight because I thought it was hilarious to get messages from people like, why would you ever use that class, you know? And it's simple because I want to piss people off. I want to make them upset and to me, I think that aspect is what kept me into gaming on here because being this, my first like mature game thing, you know? It was like, okay, so now that I've trolled you, who else am I going to troll kind of thing? And this is like the early, early days for me. And Okay, so there's a bunch of people over there. Great. Bunch of people. Aim sucks. Sorry. Just unload. Grenade. <laughs> I darted him. Oh, that made my day. I forgot I would do that to people. You'd make them like run around and they look like they're a disco ball running around the map. Ah, uh, brings back memories. But yeah, I'm gonna try the NS2000 now. I know this isn't like the best gameplay ever or anything like that, but I'm gonna try to show you guys within the span of maybe like 20 videos. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Maybe like five or six videos of just the differences between the two. So as you can tell on here, the graphics are pretty crisp. The landscaping is very nice. You get the huge, huge amount of smoke billowing out from earlier maps. And it just, it looks very, very unique. Oh God. Gotcha. Yeah, see, oh, look at the damage those babies put on me. Wait, what's over there? Yeah, see? This shotgun takes forever to reload. But it's really cool because you like shove the bullets down through the, the back of it. Here, I'll just I'll shoot it a couple of times just to show you, but 
bunch of shotgun upgrade that's a damage upgrade and I think I might as well use the the Rex because this thing is okay so I'm using slug rounds now so this right here is pretty much an insta kill if you hit them in the chest or head from any distance but yeah that's the shotgun upgrade it's got a quicker reload and power but when you reload it you just shove them like straight into the back it's a beast of a gun this gun that has never let me down not once so what I'm gonna do here is just yeah mess around like I was doing before as you can tell the jumping mechanics you can jump like freaking spider-man <laughs> so you kinda just like float everywhere and it's like Whoa. parachute pulls a lot quicker than in battlefield 3 and it's kinda like the the mechanics of battlefield 4 now they've kinda mirrored this uh, like aspect of the game the controls are a little off for Battlefield 4 compared to these ones but I mean in each battlefield they kinda swapped out the uh, the mechanics which I do kinda like because then it, you get to you have to get used to the game again it's not like the same old thing over and over and over again it's actually just like you have to get used to them otherwise it's like you can do no good in this game Grenade in the pocket. Yep, in the pocket. Yeah, see, uh, I'm playing on a small, very, very small screen right now, and it's kind of hard to aim, but... Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, yeah. So the the mechanics of this game though I I really really do like them because it's like it's kind of like going back ooh I forgot about this gun automatic sniper rifle <laughs> and ah uh, this is one thing yeah, Battlefield cannot comprehend when you reload and you can actually run in the game like that is the best feeling ever because you know you can you don't have to like stop moving to reload or like just go into a gentle walk you can actually uh, like you can run and sprint and you're gonna be fine you know you're not gonna it's not gonna affect you too badly and with that being said you know it's like whoa this is a whole new aspect like before when I uh, started in Call of Duty 4 I did not like that, especially being a sniper on there, you know, you need to reload and you re need to reload now because the other people with LMGs and any other kind of machine gun are just going to pretty much destroy you. So when I played Battlefield for the first time, I was like, okay, 20 points to Gryffindor, my mind is blown. Fuck you, Slytherin. You know, it was like one of those moments, like, hey, ha ha, yeah. And then it just kind of compounded from there. Like, I played this one, loved it. Played the first Bad Company, and I loved that. And then 1943 or 42 came out, and I was like, okay, sign me up again, you know? And I bought that game. Uh, I used it to its full potential, of course. And then I had to get rid of it because I had overused it just a bit. Cool, explosion. Love that. Alright, so I do apologize, Bill. I know I said I'm really, really good at this game, and I really, really am, but I mean, I have, I have not played in a while. The sensitivity is a bit off for me. Okay, there's one kill for the game. Sweet. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna send in a mortar strike right there. Reload this gun. But yeah, and then like, okay, picture this. Like, think of the reload animate, uh, the uh, knifing animation. It's very smooth. 
Um, it's not all drawn out where you gotta like turn around and you stab the dude in the face and then while he's on the ground crying you gotta kick him in the nuts and stuff like that. It's nothing like that now. Enemies, take them out. On this one it was like you run up, you can crouch real quick and then just stab him in the face. Like it's an automatic stab motion and if you wanted to like stop the animation you just cancel it out. Alright guys, so that is it for Bad Company 2, just be online play for this one. I'm gonna do some Vietnam here in a minute, but as you can tell, everything is very smooth on this game, and even though it is like five, five years old or so, people are still playing it, because in my opinion, this game is way better than any Black Ops or <laughs> Call of Duty. I enjoy playing this. And with that being said, Alright, then uh, let's get on to the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching.